I can record. Oh, there you go. Miwa. Cynthia, <laughs> you're recording now. Nisha <laughs> Miguachiva. <laughs> Just to answer the question, the last session would have been recorded July 23rd. Um, and that session is still being uploaded to the virtual learning environment and YouTube. And we'll send that link out when it's ready. Miigwech. Nahao, miigwech, Eva. Nahao, keep them, Jacob. Okay, men all get up. Get all comfortable first. Nahao. So this will be about <laughs> three hours again. <laughs> Get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, I think we kind of overdid it last time. Some, some being, <laughs> but I, I did, I did warn uh, Cynthia about that. Eh, you know, like uh, she said, you know, you, could you speak for me for about one hour? I said one hour. Maybe she thought that was too long, and I said because one hour for me is like it's gonna turn into three. I said, eh? <laughs> so it did. <laughs> So, yeah, so, uh, does anybody have any questions from last week, last time we met? No? Like, uh, I forget, uh, you know, like one of our teachers says, anybody got questions? And then nobody asked. Nobody. Oh, everybody knows what I said then, eh? <laughs> I, I, I... I got one. I got yeah. one. Yeah. So, um, Ani, um, Tom from um, Potawatomi and Ojibwe. Uh, uh, last week, when you were talking about like that web yeah. that goes around, yeah, I, I'm having a hard time wrapping my mind out when around what you were saying about the subconscious. Yeah. It's all in here. Like uh, around the earth, up there in the sky. This is what's up there. See, look at this this way. Eh? Like if you stretch it up, and then there's another one at the bottom. Eh? So if you stretch them like that, then you will have that uh, all that web up there. Eh? Even though they have it now with uh, computer laptops or you know the that kind of system. Eh? But this one oh. is different. This is your memory in your to the end the more in your subconsciousness is in here. That web. Then when you try and think of uh, something that you know from maybe last year, and you think and you uh, go into that vibration that you know like goes to that memory. Oh, because of uh, our language says it too. Let me see. I'll share. I hope I got share again. Do I? No? Yeah, it should work for you there, Jacob. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a, it says right there, Nendemoin, Nendemoin. You're forgetting. And then it's your, uh, I do have a picture somewhere. It might take too long to look for. You know, you're actually, you know, like synapses in here. They spark up and then they kind of, you know, like go to that memory. And then when you reach that, oh, Makwen Dad. You say, eh? I remember. See, this is what it say. You're saying the track. You know, the tracks of your memories. You tracked it down in your memory. So, oh, <coughs> uh, we have to, like, it's a, uh, like with with the 
with our uh, the sting here, eh? The like Mukwe. All the way over there, eh? That's where your memory is, Mukwe and that. So that's the track you follow to that memory you had, eh? Mukwe and that. There was a, this is a, you know, kind of, I kind of heard this today, at, uh, but not in this, kind of, this word, these words, but let's see if I can move this, okay. I got this a while ago, and I was going to translate it, but I didn't get around to it yet. So, can I go check, is be saying? It says, eh? So where we uh, are all connected to everything. So that's, a, I left it at that, eh? So then uh, in Jaganashi, when this says, our connection to everything, everything is intertwined in our language. Our understandings of biology, ecology, and science is woven into Nishnabemun. Our understanding of social studies, anthropology, and behavior is embedded in the language. The depth of sophistication of our language is lost in modern teaching, modern teaching methods. It is strongly recommend that we learn the language in all areas. Language speakers should be at all community events, and they all are around here anyway. But, you know, sometimes they're there to complain. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I, I, I did that too. I I complained a lot thing like you're not even doing this way. They should have did to, did this way. And my mentor said to me, you know, instead of complaining, why don't you help? He says hey, okay. <laughs> so I did. I started it. Eh? Then you know, like it it helps everybody too, eh? Like uh like everybody, you know, if I if I do if I see something they're not doing, I'll go over there and do it eh, for them, and they they actually appreciate that. Yeah, uh, so like if they're not speaking Nishnabe when eh, you know, I'll go over there and you know, help you know, speak in Nishnabe when for them over there eh, with our with our community members. Eh? So, yeah, see, Misamanda is a. Uh, or you can use either one of these these ones and then this is the beginning of the it's the kind of like the creation story creation story and what I heard was uh you know the, the first there's always water in the universe water particles so he said the water came first he said eh? Oh, where is it? The water's gone. <laughs> right there, mbe. And then life. Matsuwen, water, and then life. So when you put these together, this is what you're, uh, what, this is us, my life. Be Matsuwen. Then uh, when you put that, Awen, then you break it up again. Water, life is, water is my life. But translation is, uh, you know, my life. This is my life. When you say ni, this is already ni here, eh? Me with the N. But I've heard it said it this way also. This is my life. So, what your accent is saying is water is my life. Are you saying life or light? L I F E. Okay. We can go into light too. Down here somewhere. Oh, these are the what I talked about last week. Abadaskonese and Abadanjese. The the Nese part, eh? and then the Jesse is walking backwards. Read the when you talk about the Nimki, 
Abadaskone Senim ki. So he's saying the the thunder beings are breathing down constantly with the lightning rods. And then when you say it this way, Abadate Senim ki. What you're saying is, uh, you know, the, they're constantly walking backwards from the ground. They go up. So it's been probably about 30 years now, the scientists have just found out about that. Yeah, this is where it is. 1993, I guess they found out. But it's not like I've known this. Because of the words, you know, like, like what it says up here, I mean, like, science is embedded in our language. And scientists are far behind with us. Right here. Behavioral and, you know, like anthropology and behavior is embedded in our language. The depth and sophistication of our language is lost in most of the teaching methods nowadays because of the the English we use when we explain these, and we don't uh, explain at all when we use English language. And with the elders I work with, they they used to always say, "I understand, I understand that word," but now I change their wordings to that now. I. I kept telling them, you know, like, uh, I didn't tell them to, you know, say it this way. I just uh, kept on saying this to them. Eh? I can see that word. I can see that word all the time. And no, I'm done with it. No, I'm done with it. And after a while, they changed that too. Because they, they also could see the word. Eh? The action of it, eh? whatever we're dealing with, what we're, we're talking about. It's sucking at the end of Open your mind with a sound. You didn't know your sound. When moin, your subconsciousness, open your subconsciousness, you know, like with the vibration of your voice. Then, uh, you know, you open that, that uh, where you're subconsciousness is even uh, just by thinking that's a uh, kind of like a, a nangabi when a vibration eh? then you go back to that and then you learn still you know sometimes you don't even have to uh you know what i do is you know like sit outside and then just think on something and then I get my answers, especially early in the morning when it's all quiet, about four o'clock in the morning, and you know it's all quiet here, and because there's no white noise, eh? like uh, the the trucks going by. I could hear trucks going by, maybe on the highway, it's probably about ten miles away. And sometimes I could hear that thing. Eh? I don't sit outside anymore so in the morning because I started hearing wolves, and. You know, they're, that howl, I don't like. You know, after I hear that, you know, person dies. Eh? It's that, you know, you can tell which one, which one of those howls that is, that, uh, you know, a person is going to die. Eh? Somebody, because the wolves know already. You know, that's what, you know, like they're doing a send off to this person, the spirit thing. Eh? And usually when there's a howl, and there's a, you know, the the dogs, the dogs they'll howl too, but this with this specific howl, when somebody's gonna die, the dogs don't howl at all. Just that wolf. I find that amazing, eh? Because the wolf already knows, you know, send, you know, like maybe he's clearing the way for the wolf, for the for the spirit or something like that. But he, they say he's saying goodbye to the spirit. Uh, remember the Nanabush story? They used to uh, be friends, Nanabush and the wolf, till they went their separate ways. Maybe it's uh, something to do with that. Interesting, eh? <laughs> I find that interesting. 
I'll be right back. We bang a bep scabby. This is what we say. Eh? You like uh no, I'll be right back. We bang a bep scabby. So what you're actually saying is, you know. I'll be right back and connect with you because of this word there, eh? Scabby. Scabby is, uh, you know, like a connection. Uh, think of a wall plug like this. How far is that, eh? Have to go. So that's uh, Scabby. Scabby Sid. The Scabby Nang. So Scabby. So that, that's what that means there, eh? We bung up Scabby. So I'll be right back and connect with you again. Connection is everything, eh? With, our, with everybody. And we feel there, you know, like, a, you know, when there's a lot of family members, this one really, you probably really, you know, feel this one. Like, uh, when there's lots of family members all at one, at the same spot, you know, then, uh, you know, you feel that uh, happiness, you know, like talking you know, to every every one of your family members. And then at the end of the day, when they leave, you feel emptiness, eh? Because you're disconnected from them because they're gone. And you don't know when they'll see them again. Jacob. Wow. Jacob. That yeah. word, Scott of Ska. Does that also come from skanese? Skanese. So uh, when, when two people connect, it's like they create a a spark, like a connection, like the reconnect, maybe ska. Kai. Uh, it's part of it though. Like part a, of it. Okay. Yeah, like a connection part, eh? Like uh, yeah. and then like uh, these uh atoms, they connect with each other, eh? Like we're we're all made of atoms, eh? And so they connect with each other, you know, like uh, through uh, the vibrations, eh? They kind of connect. Like when you uh, a single atom, if you take it apart, and they'll get the same message. Like if you talk to this one, this one will get it instantly. Also, that's how fast it travels, eh? That like uh, it goes maybe. Like over warp 10, as they say, you know, like, uh, and then that's instant, eh? Just like us, you know, like with the spirits, those spirits that are us, you know, like uh, we're the only ones that could tell time, you know, as a human being, but the spirit can't. So, like, uh, we, we could, we might be here just. Like that, eh? But us, we think it's a long time. The spirit, it's like that, eh? Okay. Life's over on this one. It's yeah. like that, eh? But uh, us, we're, you know, we, we have measurements nowadays, eh? Like a year. But to the spirit, it's probably just, uh, you know, like a snap of a button or finger, eh? So, so there's no, because of, you know, it can be, Spirit can be like everywhere and anywhere all at the same time. I think that's where we go when uh, we uh, we we sleep. So uh, we take off from our bodies, and so then uh, you know we travel maybe in the in the in the cosmos, now way in the cosmos and in the universe. Like take a trip. While the body rests, that's why we have dreams sometimes. Eh? Maybe we, we, we're tapping into somebody else's uh, somebody else's dream also. Eh? Traveling. I think uh, you would find more about about that with uh, when you meditate. And I got scared off with that, you know. But I somebody was talking to me. Eh? 
So I'd be calling my name and turn around, nobody there. Two times that happened. And then I told uh, the one, the conductor that was uh, running the, that the uh, meditation, eh? I told him about the, oh, he says, you know, your the spirits are talking to you now, he says, because of that meditation. And so I, I didn't go back there again. I didn't want to take that. Uh, I got scared. Eh? It's the way they sound, but you know that. I talked to my mentor about that, eh? and then he said, you know, I, I, I too can go do that. He says, you know, like I can go up to, you know, you know where he said, eh? go visit them. He said, eh? that's that. Then uh, you know, I don't do that anymore either. He says, you know, I quit doing that. Because I got scared too, he said. Because I really, really liked it up there, he said. And one of these days I might stay up there, he said. You know. So, but I still want to stay here, he said. So that's when he quit that too. He said, "Don't go! I don't go up there no more," he said. Or wherever, wherever it is. So it's a Deshkabe Sasing. That's where. That's where it's a. I think I have that. Did I explain that last week? That Deshkabe Sasing? I think so, eh? You remember, Marie? Yeah, Oh, yeah, okay. So I explained it. Yeah. So this one is Anagate uh, Vendemoin. So thinking hard with both hemispheres of the brain and with the heart, that's Anagatek, uh, both brains, you know, logic and emotion. And the heart. Nanak is uh, Nanak Gattik, the center of your brain, you know, the center right here, Nanak Gattik. And then Gede, Gede is right there, and then in the moon. But these are, you know, when you spell them a little bit differently, they'll mean little, just a slight difference, eh? So this one, na na do en the moin, with the o on this side here, o and e over here. Thinking hard with both hemispheres and calling it out in your mind, like it's a gudo gudunda bido en madis, calling it to life, bringing it to life. You're trying to manifest it. And this one is a need, something you really need to ask for, something you need to win them, win that, like that, eh? it says it right there, doing that, I need it. Make some help and stuff like that. Eh? So this one I was, uh, when I seen this, uh, Hey, I thought, hey, that's a hole. Like a hole, and I would say, Buneya. So that uh, this also says, you know, like uh, there's something in there. Because of the the ya in there, eh? ya. Someone is there. Buneya. In that hole, and this talks about the uh, the energy. The energy, it's uh, is in there, you know, dark matter or dark energy, like this one. I explained this one already. Eh? Yeah. So I'll, I'll read it out again. You know what that is, eh? It's a scientific term, dark star. Chicken da swin kidwin, make a deal zit nung. Me no ge go, a bean ge we focus outs up. A gravitational collapsed object. Then the moin and the master look ge ge go. A place where thought becomes energy. Me the shmadzim look and begins existence. Then the moin owns the tekas ge get ge go along. Thought is the basis of all reality. When Shkode Wendaman, 
but some schools even got we got an end of winning. The energy you put into thought is very powerful. Ni inga da memego then the morning is in sastigemu. Thought is the essence of where we are now. We me a en end man. Nim chamagat beshko mangam jigan nakazi. Thought is the essence of where we are now. It focuses on top like a lens and magnifies. Who they win when we not get get the now stop on energy and matter are interchangeable. Who they win when they answer me just get get out energy is converted into matter. Therefore, you have substance. So substance there, and then this is the word we discussed there. Be the win modest. You know, you're bringing that to life, whatever you call for. Be the way. Modest. So, karma. Good or bad, it'll bring it. Do good stuff, and then you get good stuff. And you say good stuff, and then they, you do get, get that too. Works both ways. Careful how you use it. Oh, I'm done with it in the cause. This one, uh, I uh, the quasar that this is the one that shoots out of the 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 beginning of each gong. Eh, this one is the the front, and the other one is the back end of it. And then Gijiabe. Gije, he that Gije under again, eh? That's a Gije, say. Or Gije, Bissa. Gije, backwards, eh? And then this one is Gije. That's a. Uh, it goes fast. Anything that goes fast will burn or, you know, turn into a. Uh, it look like it's burning, eh? That's uh, why we have light. And she asked, shining, shining bright. And because of the, let's say if I turn the hydro on, eh, you know, then put the light on. So that hydro is, you know, burning real fast in there and then makes that light up, eh? Wood. Fog. <clears throat> so this this is the way I say one foot the fo the cloud eh but uh, there's a uh, you know some people here that say on foot and this uh, really doesn't say anything to me eh? but this one does because of the fog and this is the cloud. Cloud, you know, is made out of fog, I believe. And, uh, you know, like, uh, if it weren't for water, we wouldn't have the the clouds and pollution together. <laughs> yeah. You need pollution for fog. I mean, uh, the clouds. This one, uh, you know, like, go up again one. So... I noticed uh, I live up the hill, up the hill here in uh, and as I, as I was going driving down the hill, I seen uh, the fog. It was all just concentrated in the bay, and not on the land, just on the bay, on the water. And we were having a meeting with the elders at that time. And I explained what happened, and I said to him, because, uh, you know, like, why is it only in the water, I thought, eh, and not on the land? It wasn't even anywhere near the land. It was just concentrated in the water. And, oh, this, this uh, one of our elders said, I seen that, too. She said, mm, this morning, she said, that's a guabagay one, he said, eh. That's what, how you call what you call that, he says. And then when I uh, looked at this, Wobage, like take, take some out, take some water out. Wobage, one, the fog. You know, like goes up in the sky and creates rain. 
the fog concentrating only on the bay. And it's actually it's uh, using a dipper kind of the thing, eh? Wobbage. It's the old man winter, that's what they you know they call him Ksid. So you probably heard this from uh Cynthia uh Stephen George. It's uh, one of his stories, uh, Old Man Winter, and is what he called him. It is that uh, story goes way back too. Like uh, he's pretty good with it, you know. Like talks about it when you ask him to. And this is what he called him, Ksin. Well, what what is that, Ksin? Old Man Winter, he said, you know, because you know he went and visited uh, some people. And then he stayed all winter. <laughs> yeah. And then Xina. So we use that. It's cold. Cold breeze is the tka. You know, like cold. And, and then that mud, mud, tka mud, like a breeze. I don't know why that wasn't in there. That one's in there. Oh, here's one interesting. Bzin, something in the eye. Then that happens to you when you when you say bzin done. But uh, you know, like uh, what they're saying really is, you know, listen with your eyes and your ears. Let it enter your eyes. Give bzin, get in when it's something in the eye. Eh? So that's why this is in there. Bzin. Listen with your eyes and your ears. And then this one go zin she. <laughs> I always look around, see what they're talking about. Then eh? you don't really look at them. Eh? He just look up there somewhere or somewhere else. But your ears are like this, <laughs> like like an elephant. Memni chimang toge. So there's another word Key for watch. that. Uh, <laughs> here's a, you probably like this one, or you can write it down. It's our being real nosy. Jante. That's being nosy. <laughs> uh, one of our, uh, one of our elders said the same, like uh, Henry uh, Zauna. His name we call him Smuggler. So then you know this girl. He's talking to this guy here. And then there's a little crowd over there. Then I guess he said, "Ah, Oden Gokeza, Gokezamte." So then, so what, what do what you mean by that? <laughs> I'm gonna be nosy. <laughs> so if you say this, if you say this in front of other elders, you know, like they won't understand. Because you know this is an old word, eh? <laughs> maybe some of them will, maybe some of them will jump. <laughs> so, so try it out there, Cynthia, when you go somewhere. Be ba jump te, if they recognize, it. <laughs> see if they recognize it. So jump uh, te. But well, this one is kino chigagis is you know like uh like sundials, eh? Or even the moon has a, you know like the full circle around it, eh? And it's a marker, a kinoch kinoch marker, a mark. Somebody uh puts a mark on something, eh? So this is what it really means, the ground. And the earth to have a premonition. I'll break it up a little bit. Eh? Eke, nochege. So nochege is premonition. So it's the ground, eh? or mother mm -hmm. earth, or mother earth. Same with this, you know, like eke, om. Oh, no, wrong place. Earth, the 
vibrations from the earth. Yeah, I heard that today. Uh, you know, we're having a language uh, gathering here. And one of our elders said that, that the earth tells you what to do. When you go outside, put your moccasins on. Don't put any of these, uh, these shoes on because it's a rubber sole. He said, you won't get anything from that. He said, it. I've been saying that too. I didn't, I kind of figured that out. Eh? Now I'm verified with that. Eh? From him. Gee, knuckle gang, you don't done where. Yeah, yeah. I just I just heard that today too. Mm. Yeah. I guess they're trying to say, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Stop wearing the Nikes. I can't yeah. hear I can't yeah. hear you. Because <laughs> yeah. that connection, no, that connection yeah. isn't there. It's like a yeah. barrier, no. <laughs> yeah. Just like this, eh? Like, there's no electricity that'll get me on this thing because it's plastic or rubber there, eh? Yeah. That's the same as our uh, our shoes, our soles, eh? No, no energy yeah. can get up that. My mm. grandmother, I, she used to, you like the same with the dresses. My grandmother, she used to, I'd never seen her wear a pants. It was always a dress, eh? So all that energy goes up that dress and then towards her body and because she used to be a real strong worker eh? so all, that's where that ener all that energy came from me eh? I, I really don't remember what what kind of shoes she had though <laughs> probably a uh, pork because i had those one time pork uh, soul <laughs> 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 I think uh, the energy would go through that too. Mm -hmm. So this one is a uh, a cat. This is uh, what uh, like uh, what you do when uh, you know the after this what after the earth tells you what to do a cat no toa. It's uh we're just saying like. Uh, like you mimic somebody in Kenoto. But nowadays, you know, there's a translation for it. Eh? But what you're actually saying is, I'm holding the ground, the earth, Mother Earth. That's what the Noto is, you know, a quote. I quote. Because I, 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 I heard that before with the. Uh, you know, like uh, before, before uh, you know, like uh, rumors. You know, like when they would say that thing, eh? like, uh, but they would say exactly what the person said, eh? and then they would say, "Do not toa." Does it not toa? As they said, eh? So that's uh, because you know they do they say exactly what they were told, eh? That way, don't, there was no rumors back then. Just truth. <laughs> mm. Right there. <laughs> yeah. mm. Nowadays, it's rampant. <laughs> There's no one. <laughs> everybody, no toa. No toa, no toa, no toa. But there is no toa. <laughs> no toaing some, something else. <laughs> they start their own. That's okay. Hey, there's a good word. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. So this is uh, making a story. More interesting, eh? Mm -hmm. And it's uh, <coughs> not so okay. This one is... Uh, A teaching. The uh, these ones are uh, adzoke. This one, uh, you know, like uh, remains the same. 
word for word if possible if possible so because of uh you know like the teachings they have to remain the same that's why this is atse atse will get stuck you know like ongyatse stuck and i was talking uh, the other day about this you know like uh, I, I asked for a you know like a teaching uh, from this elder about uh, the threat lodge and he told me and then i don't i didn't remember but then uh, i asked him again the next day we were at a women's uh, gathering at the time, eh? so I asked him again after the evening, after they sweat, and I asked him again, you know, would you tell me that, that story again? Yeah, he said, no. then uh, the third day when I asked him, I forgot again. I told <laughs> so then uh, he said, put some tobacco in your hand, then I'll tell you. Then you'll remember it this time, he said. Eh? But then he did, eh? And sure enough, I remember. So, so he he did say exactly the same. So, it'll take me a while to figure out how exactly how. And this one, you know, I don't want to translate to English because it would break all the meaning you know what what the story is about so this one is anse anse making a story because you know like you could add anything to it yeah uh, so adding it's not the anso care of now Atsuke. And yeah, atsuke na So you know, like making a funny story, mm -hmm. like uh, like that mock mock lovely when I talk about him. Eh? Did I tell <laughs> you guys? I I forget if I told you guys about mock lovely there last week, last time. So this guy. Uh, guy can okay. I'll tell you. I'll tell you in English <laughs> yeah, because uh, it's both, sounds funny in both languages. So this uh, Mark Mark Valley, he lives in South Bay. So he was looking at a catalog, and you know, well, everybody knows what a catalog is, eh? so but then uh, he said, "Oh, I'm gonna order this woman." <laughs> So he thought differently about the catalog. So, but then, so they, okay, they said, they, you know, just as a joke, they helped him fill out, fill it out. Eh? So then uh, he sent it in, sent the money in. So then <clears throat> about a month after, eh? the mail was slow at the time. Eh? So about a month later, they asked him, hey, Mark, is your woman coming? He said, no. It should be pretty soon, though. His, her clothes came in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she must have thought that, oh, he's sending her clothes first. Poor <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> in dogs yeah. to go. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, for that poor mock funny guy. <laughs> yeah, he went for a woman, a mail order bride, but never got there. <laughs> uh, we got to go in on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, what what was this word I was thinking of? Uh, oh. Koatagza. So, you know, like I got verified again 
with this verb koe. Like uh, I think that's a uh, you know like this one koe is uh, you know like came to a realization. Like uh, you know when uh, a bear is finished finished hi hibernating, eh? And he comes out of his uh, his den. And he's, you know, starting life over again. Eh? Like, uh, and then coming out of a shell kind of thing, eh? Where he, where he spend the winter. And then the, this uh, analogy is being used as that. Kim Koe. He finally, you know, like, he's like a bear now. He finally realized, like, uh, came to his senses kind of thing, eh? Or became a bear, came out of a shell, came out of the den where he was sleeping. Koe. So then this one, Koatagse. Uh, this is uh, like a reminding, a reminder, a reminder of, you know, like the Kem Koatagos, you know, like a, like a little teaching, eh? And then this one is pretty much the same. But with this letter, next letter, that one. With that, uh, with that S sound on there, this means, uh, you know, a, a, a different kind of, uh, this is, you know, like you, it's like a parable, eh? He'll tell you the story, but you're the one that has to get the message from there. And it's a long one, a long story. Eh? So, like that word, the wasa. Skirts around the issue kind of thing, eh? Like he won't tell you, not like this one. This is uh, like, uh, he'll tell you right right then and there. But this one, you know, he'll tell you with a, with a story. Like a reminder or advice. There's a lot of uh, words. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, start here. Now I forget what I, where I was going. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's just keep going down. Niskadat. So this is talk about the storm and, you know, like the the clouds, they're, you know, the barometer, baram, barometer the pressure, eh, comes down, makes the clouds come down. See, that's uh, right in there, eh? Niska. Niska one, but what it says this one that that is the oh god what and then you know the clouds are almost at the ground level and you can tell you know like uh like if there's a water tower near you eh, you can tell you know the clouds are right above that and they're in the clouds mm -hmm. that's a fog too in there he's got it I talked about this already in the first Nandwech again. This one is Nandwech yeah. again, changing the vibration. I never realized that. And then when they were, they were doing a presentation over there, I went to one of their tables and then I looked at this word and you know what that word means? I said, yeah, place of healing. You know, like, no, I said, you're changing someone's vibration. I said, they, and the way, I, the way they looked at me, you know, what the heck is this guy on? <laughs> <laughs> like some people will do that. They, you know, what this guy's been smoking. Eh? I like that sometimes too. I like that too. <laughs> It's a, I heard this elder say this, the seven grandfather teachings. I would take we not causing in the 
Vermont Zenoning. So we have to use these in our five stages of life, he said, eh? The baby years, the toddler, the teenage, the adult, and the elder. Because of that word in there, noning, five times. Madze. Mm. Madze, noning. Five lives. So the baby doesn't really need that. The baby is kind of a teacher on that. And like a, the baby teaches love first thing. And there's a lot more stuff that they do teach. And patience, ain't eh? Patience also. Patience with them. And Akadeya went too. Like uh, with my son, he said, let me do it. <laughs> First time he got mad at me. <laughs> yeah. Let me do it. <laughs> I tried, you know, tried doing everything mm -hmm. for him, and then and after a while, he didn't like that. And then, let me do it, he says to me, kind of loud. I felt, you know, really, uh, you know, upset, <clears throat> upset, and you know, like, ah, oh, I can't do anything for him no more. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> step aside, you, <laughs> step aside, you know, like kind of thing. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, now now I'm glad he did it. Because you know, I, if I did kept on doing everything for him, he wouldn't be able to do anything for himself. Eh? Which I was told that uh, mm. he shouldn't do. He shouldn't do to kids. This is what they say. Okay, good day, boy. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you know, like uh, uh, doing everything for me. Eh? Like, that could you get me that? Oh, okay. Get yeah, up. Or could you buy me that? And uh, my mom, she got mad at me. She told me the same. He yelled this at me. Hey, good day, boy. I'll kill you. And you know. And I said, no, I want to buy this for him. Then she said, okay, then you're going to find out later in life why I said this. And, you know, after maybe a couple of years, I did, you know, because he wanted everything. Eh? And I couldn't say no. Mm. Yeah, so. Because he would take a tantrum on the floor at the store. So I learned. I learned that too, like to say no. And he did that to me at that mm -hmm. store. And he's kicking in and screaming, I want that, I want that. Rah, 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 rah. But I said, you know, I just let him mm -hmm. kick him. Then I said to him, you know, I said, I don't care what you do. And I don't care what people people think about me. And he stopped, eh? Then uh, go ahead, yell all you want, I said, eh? Then he stopped. I don't care what people think, I said, eh? And he get, just gets up, oh, no, he said. Eh? That's the last time he did that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so, mm. It's kind of like that, you know, like this is what being, <laughs> being, being said to you, eh? Hey, good day, boy, okay. don't be a yes person. Mm. Um, and and don't be carrying the baby all the time. Kaashna, kaashna, because baby will cry, cry, cry. You know if you and don't get up right away when they start crying. And if you hold them too too long, every time they cry, you run over there right away, pick them up. Give the baby a chance to cry. Mm -hmm. Because that's the growth. You know, like crying makes them grow. And you see a lot of these yeah. uh these tall people in there, they must have cried a lot. 
<laughs> yeah, look at me. I'm short. I, I guess I didn't cry that much. <laughs> Yeah, uh, like, uh, they, that's why uh, my my sister called me a, a mama's boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is uh, you know don't don't pick up the baby too much, you know, like uh, or else you know, like you like in the at nighttime, you know, like you won't be able to. You have to get up, and the baby won't stop. Till you pick them up and then you like uh, especially mothers you know when they're busy in the kitchen you know like when the partner's not home they're gonna have to pick up the baby and cook and sometimes that's dangerous eh? so let them cry let them cry so i know it's you might think it's bad parenting but it ain't because you know you're gonna be Tired, sick, and need of sleep. And that that does happen, you know, because I've seen that. You know, kids, you know, like I try to say this to, don't pick up the baby too much. You know, like what you gonna do? And uh, this one too, you know, when they're pregnant, go and look at the animals. Pojas. Pojas is, uh, you know, like uh, you get a blood memory, you pass it on to the child. Like uh, what you see, it's uh, with the, uh, like even the feelings, like scared, scared feelings, you pass that on to the, the baby. So uh, my mentor, he said, you know, I try to tell my daughter, don't look at the animals. I guess uh, her daughter was watching a raccoon and climb up, up on the tree. And then the, rac the, the raccoon fell down off the tree, then landed on the ground and started having a seizure. Eh? And she seen that. And then he said, now my grandson is it's has seizures now, he said, and because of that. Even uh, dead animals, you know, they're not supposed, supposed to be looking. You see a dead animal on the road, you know, just cover your eyes. Don't look. <coughs> so this is, uh, we translated this as blood memory. The pujas. Pujas, uh. There's some uh, stuff down here that uh, kind of relates to that. Oh, Sustamoki, making someone understand. Sustam, understands, and then Moki is, you know, it comes, emerges out, eh? So the understanding emerges out, Sustam and Moki. When they're mad at someone, <laughs> they will be like, they will be like, they will be like, they Fighting or something. This one is Pskane. So when you put this together, so Pskane Gadaza got mad real, real fast. <laughs> that uh, Pskane, you know, light up, light up with anger. <laughs> Have you ever heard this one, Cynthia? Skanegadasa. Make sure go yeah. Yeah. It's like me. It's like 
really like angry um skane and then like leaving leaving yeah. being real angry and leaving yeah and then that was that me that skane is ne is part of that skude no yeah it's kind of like ne that when you light up that fire it, it like as soon as that fire goes it goes you know yeah yeah that's why ne and jacketing when a key on up skane skane kadaza yeah, it's like just yeah, that fire goes. <laughs> you know, if you if you tell someone, you know, like something else, you know, like you know something they they don't like at all, and they get real mad, you know, then we say this to chips <laughs> 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 Yeah, they light up their anger, yeah. light light up real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we come on. Invite. And then, mm. and, uh, you know, like, it's, nowadays they use it as, you know, like a puff of a cigarette, you know. Okay, we come on. Mm. But this, uh, this was actually uh, a ceremonial word. You know, they, they must have heard that in ceremony, but, you know, they must have thought it was like a, the pipe one day after they smoke it and then they pass it on then the other elder says ah come on so my turn to invite mm. the spirits it's not puffing my mm -hmm. turn to puff it <clears throat> no me go get go get us up no we don't quah uh, we don't qua. Yeah, so it's a uh, we don't qua is a uh, kind of uh, like helping too, eh? Go we don't yeah. cast. Go we don't cast. Ne, in English, ne we don't qua. They translate that as ne playing. Yeah, like you're you're playing with you know like a child or yeah. you're playing you know like with another person no, but ne ne oh gajira we do is um like you're you're sitting down to to teach like you're teaching you're giving your teachings or passing your teachings down to that next person no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, uh like uh if sometimes you know like uh if somebody comes over and you know borrows you money, eh? Then mm. I've heard elders say this man oh go give it to I lent it to him, eh? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, I know, I guess uh, there's variations of uh, how the word is used, eh? depending on context, too. Eh? Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I went and, you know, like, helped out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. help out. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the reason why I say that word, nah, walk chess be so before my yeah. daughter got here, her name is Wakshas. No, ni gibboch getum. No, was no cause a kodoma, but emwinak no. So I had a dream of, you know, like um, what her name is going to be. No, midosh ne gibbonak no, wagosh. Me wagosh kakirat no, win mushwa ne garmam da we we do cook wa avde tam goje nike ja ba manish gavps ka bi mi we pi o we do cook mi ga kirat na so like just translating that for um our our viewers so i had a dream about my daughter uh picking her or, or sending me her name through a dream na so like i had a dream about a fox and this little fox said said to me in my dream that he 
the fox couldn't come to visit or come to play um like that's how it would be translated in english but it was more like uh, like the fox couldn't give the teachings to the one that's coming into this world like this uh physical world but the fox will come back later and sit with you know like that child when the yeah. time is right <clears throat> So in my dream, I always think about that word now, Weedokwa, because mm -hmm. it doesn't, like in English, they translate it as, you know, like, oh, you're just playing with, you know, like the kids. And, okay, we uh -huh. cake, you know, but like, to me, like that word means, nay, it's like, the whoever is sitting with you, they're sitting with you for a reason to give you, you know, like teachings or pass down knowledge now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now I get it, you know, like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So, yeah. like the, after you explain it that way, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that, that, that could mean I, a I, lot too, eh? Like, you know, I'll be, I'll be back, you know, I'll yeah, give them yeah, every uh, lesson, I'll give them every lesson, you know, and help them in life, we're not helping life, yeah, uh, yeah like different stages now like mm -hmm. like i'll come yeah. sit with them when they're a child or i'll come sit and teach them when they become you know like a, a young woman or young man <clears throat> yeah dreams are and so that's one of my little little yeah. findings be gonna like when i sit with myself gonna no not when ma gonna again and no so like that's the those are one of my many findings just sitting with you know like with my thoughts you know again you know like just sending it out there no yeah um, I, I was always asked you know do you speak i mean uh, do you dream in the shnabe moon <laughs> hey, <laughs> I no, but uh, I don't hear any words, but I do like uh, you feel them? not the actual sound of words, but I know what is being said. It's telepathy, mm. telepathy that's. <clears throat> But I don't hear the words either, mm. though. So that I don't know if I, if that's Nishnabe or English or whatever language, because <laughs> just I know what is being said, but you know I don't. Know. There, there's no words, so mm -hmm. I think uh, you know, like uh, yeah, telepathy. It's a, uh, it's kind of a new thing for me. Eh? You know, I really haven't really, you know, like. Talk to the elders about that. See what they know about it. Eh? Maybe it's hmm. my my quest for this year. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> this one, Khan, <clears throat> is a realm or a place or yeah, a place. Hmm. Little Khan, spiritual realm. Mm -hmm. Itokad, the porch. <laughs> mm. So this card is, uh, you know, like a, a place, eh? Like, uh, it doesn't have to be a but, you know, like, I thought, you know, like, uh, what the heck I thought, you know, why, why am I thinking about the Bito card? So, why are you? Oh yeah, ah, it's a circle around it. Eh? Oh. So I bet you it's spelled this way too. Oh yeah, yeah. There's something in there. Mm. The circle energy. Oh yeah, is that that's something that is circle around like a tire, tires, mm. and but. You can't say this, oh yeah, it's a, you know, like a ball. 
but you, you can say this for a ball though, like a basketball or something. Oh yeah. And circular thing. And this is uh Oh yes and the moin. So maybe sometimes you could take the Z out. Oh yeah and the moin. That's enlightened. So that mm -hmm. means uh, you know everybody like somebody that has this is uh, you know can think of everything that's around me. Eh? Circular. It's circle around me. So it's uh mm -hmm. oh yeah, I don't know, probably like oh, what what we were talking about these telepathy things, eh? They probably know how to do this too. And the medicine men, medicine women, this is what they are. Wayne so, Jaza, then uh, naming. Hmm. Oh. When go, so we translated this way now. I was given a name, but actually, uh, I was told that there is no big cer. There was used to be never no big ceremony when uh, a child was born. It was a welcoming, like the family. They would be there, and then the midwife, Nekwebjeget, would also be there, and the and the Nekwebjeget would have the name when the baby was born. So that's uh, so that's when uh, you know the the name. So then the baby the baby would be lifted like that, you know that way and go, like in a circular motion, eh? Like calling out the name north, you know all this. Four directions, eh? Mm. Uh, like uh, I was held in a circular motion, and that's what it's saying. You and go, then it's a baby, eh? Even this, like you and on, put it moving in a circular motion. I didn't give it a name, you and on. So I just circle. Hmm. Moved in circular motion. That's all. Well, this one I I did already. Oh, this one is interesting. Biwabic, iron, steel. So it describes the small particles in there, eh? Like the ore. Biwa. Biwabic. The iron, steel, eh? Small. So you when they melt that, like especially copper. Copper, you know, you didn't have to. Uh, you know, go at high temperatures as the other other steel. Eh? So this is a uh, wall in the rock. Eh? The big hmm. Ashabik. So this right there. See, you know, you could tell when they say that Ashabik. You know, and you could tell there's a uh, some iron and ore in there. Eh? So when the tectonic plates meet, one goes underneath, eh? Then causes this to the other one to go up. You probably see that, you know, like the the rocks, the the flat rocks, bedrock like that, eh? Especially around here in Manitoulin, and the ten this past uh, bridge when you cross the bridge, eh? You could see that. Mm. So Arushkano. Arushkano Sini. Then hmm. he turned to Jangavik. Changanum. And that's a Jangavik standing rock. There used to be hmm. a guy named here, Changavik. So I guess his name was uh, Standing Rock. Changa is hmm. uh, like that, eh? Okay, I'm getting tired. <laughs> so, okay, <laughs> we quit early. Anybody got questions? Oh, uh. yeah. Yeah, good question time. 
Nahal. So if anyone has any questions or comments. I got one. Yeah. So mm -hmm. back a while ago, you said a word, Shaka y Mikwe. Shaka Mikwe. Yeah. What does yeah. that mean? That means uh, Mother Earth. Oh, okay. I thought so, but I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Just a comment, Jacob. Yeah. You just helped me remember something. Uh, there's a place in Blind River where the, the rock is like that bedrock. Uh -huh. but they call it Bemboap Cock. Oh, so, that's a that's a dialect, eh? Bemboap Cock. Oh, so, is it? Like uh, it, it's uh, like something went underneath it, eh? Gimbo. Oh. Like a jack. Gimbo. Oh, me no, uh, yeah, yeah, boop cock, yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, there's a one on chat there, eh? Uh, Gina Kung Yom Dan, um, Gokigan Dan, so I will read it out. Uh, uh, Terry Gikira, I recently heard someone say that there is no past or present, there is only eternal and an internal now. Like you said, an instant. So we just live a constant instant. Yeah. Well, it's the spirit that has no, no, uh, like it's now, eh? Now is now. <clears throat> and but uh, hmm. it is our mind that takes us back to yesterday. But it will never take us to gosh, tomorrow. Gosh, where... Yeah. It'll never hmm. take us to tomorrow. Because tomorrow, eh, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Eh? So even yeah. if you try to think what's you know what's what you're going to do, it never does go the way you plan everything. Mm. Mm. Like right now. <clears throat> no, how? Yeah, <laughs> I'll go no, visit you, Terry. I'll... Terry, I'll go visit you mm. and we'll talk more about it after. Mm. Lori. Uh, Lori, Kira, Ani, Jacob, do you have a word for the fog when bear cubs are born? No, I could ask about it. Uh, there is a, a word for uh, like a ziguan, eh? Like a, uh, that's a first spring, and then there's a lot of fog in the springtime, eh? Z one, and then there's mm. a so there's a you know like a, a a fawn that is born on that day, like uh, and they call it zigde, and uh, well, I'm gonna have a drink first. I'm the queen. Zigden is a fawn that's born in early spring. That's why they call it Zigden. And mm. the, <clears throat> this one has no spots, but the one born in later spring, they call it the Dagakons because of the spots they have it. Eh? Mm. <laughs> so mm. early spring is Zigwan. I think this describes oh. that uh, Z Gwen, you know, when you break that up, Z and then Gwen, you know, that's the early spring of early fog, early spring fog. Mm. So, hmm. But uh, the bears, they're, I think they're, they are born in uh, January. That's why we have that uh, little, little bear or Kogis, as they call it, eh? They're still in the mm. in the den at that time. So I don't think they're born in spring. They're born in the winter. But they come out mm. in the springtime. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Hope that answers your no, question. How? 
Gail Patrick, uh, Lisa. Well, it's the same thing well, as so like, you know, like, yeah, it's the same thing as you know, some, another person walking towards you. He does my say, does my say, he does my say, like me does my say, go yeah, somebody coming. Yeah. Uh, with the with the bear, like uh, I heard this story about this guy that uh, he was a uh, looking for a bear. Eh? I think he needed uh, the the grease, eh? and the the fur itself. So he was told, make sure you bury the bear after you kill him. When you take the guts out. You bury those, then you could eat the meat and whatever else you need on there. So he did. And then, you know, he didn't take a shovel at that time. So then all there was was leaves, leaves on the ground. So he used those and buried the, all the insides. And so he's dragging the bear away. Then. He happened to look back over there. Then he seen, uh, you know, like a white, like a, it's a silhouette, like a like a ghost kind of white, eh? Getting up from there and then started mm -hmm. walking away. So that's the spirit of the bear walking away. That's why you, they had to bury those, eh? Or cover it up at least because of the, the spirit still there, eh? Of mm -hmm. the bear. Because he gave his life, you know, for that, eh? Mm -hmm. Uh, so, mm -hmm. and when when you do look for a bear, hunt a bear, you know they won't find them <clears throat> unless the bear agrees to it. And once, uh, okay, I live my life already. I'll I'll, I'll let them take it. You know, but they need that mid air mm. stuff. Eh? So, and I heard the story mm. from uh, another lady, and he said. I seen uh, like there there was a deer running towards the road, and you know I couldn't break. She says, eh? like I you know thought real hard. She said, "Okay, what come here? What come here?" But then they stopped over there mm -hmm. before they could run across. He said, eh? and he told his daughter about that, and then she started doing that too. Like then they never hit a a deer, eh? You know, before you go in that area, they started thinking that, eh? Sending that message out with the vibrations of the heart, eh? Don't go across, don't go across. And I was thinking, you know, like one time I was coming coming to that area, you know where, where I mean, eh, Cynthia, that 10 mile point area. And I was thinking that, yeah. you know, don't, don't, uh, you know, stay in, the, stay in there, wait for me to go by. Bobby, you shouldn't go get me this. Then, you know, as I turned the corner, I seen a deer looking out like this there, eh? From the grass area, waiting for <laughs> it to go by, eh? Sheesh, it does work. Try it out next time. He be the wedge. Yeah. He be the wedge, my this. And... Yeah. Oh, isn't it? I like yeah. going yeah. talking to you guys. Mm -hmm. Now so how? Good night, everybody. So, now, so that concludes our nice, our session for Kino Mogzada. Oh, um, <clears throat> so, our next one is in September. Uh, September 3rd. Holy, that, that's like just a couple of weeks. <laughs> uh -huh, <laughs> me so in two weeks. Miigwech. Mm -hmm. me Okay. okay, remind me again. Yeah, so September 3rd, you should be on. Okay. So that's on a Tuesday. So 7 o'clock until mm -hmm. 9. I go to the house. I go to the house. I go to the house. I I go Bongi go nangi donin. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nahal. Nahal. So, um, viewers that are left. So, next session is on September 3rd, which is my birthday. Yay. <laughs> Nahal. So, we will see you and meet you guys on here again, September 3rd, last session with uh, Na, Jacob Wamagos. Nahal. Mm -hmm. Vibration of our language. Mm -hmm. Nahal. Jimmy Gwetch Kanoya. Mama Jacob. Uh -huh.